Hi everyone, it's Conzel here. So today I want to talk about the Realm Depot and the Realm Currency that you have. Uh, I believe by now, most people will already have uh, Trust Rain 8 at least. And if you're following my guide, you will be at Trust Rain 10 now. Or you're almost reaching Trust Rain 10. Don't forget that the Mimitomo event really gives a huge boost to trust since you get 90 trust uh, every day for free. Now, I initially wanted to do a guide on how to spend, how best to optimize your spending of your round currency for these items here, the round treasures. Uh, but I have to do this video here first because I would like my viewers to be able to save up. Because the whole point of this video is to save your realm currency now until 1.6 is out. The reason why is that although you're the finishing blueprints by now you will have bought everything, there's actually going to be a fresh batch of uh, blueprints available to purchase from the realm depot in 1.6. Uh, which is expected since we already saw new uh, finishing sets, sets in the uh, 1.6 official live stream where they were trying to place Venti in that as a companion uh, to the specific uh, set. So that set, if you guys saw, it actually involved the fountain, the fountain that you get at uh, Trust Rand 9. So, so far in game, there's no set item involving the Trust Fountain, but there will be new set items, a whole bunch of new set items, in fact, related to all the companions. And there is only one existing finishing set that is in the game right now and you can put a companion to it. The rest of it of the rest of it, the companions require a new all the different type of new furnishing set that is available in 1.6. So without further ado, let's go check those out. Okay. I mean even I myself I've only been spending my realm currency recently on this, but I have to save up already. I can't even finish doing my uh, garden because I want to save up for the 1.6, uh, all the new stuff. And let me show you guys those. Okay, so we are at Honey Hunter now. I'll put the link to Honey Hunter. Obviously, this is the best site to go for all the Genshin Impact data mined information that is prior to release. So you see here, these are the standard stuff, right? They call yard fences, the one that I've been asking people to build. And the, which is one of the most efficient way to pump up your uh, adapter energy uh, previously. Still is the best way actually. Okay, and you have all the different type of the uh, UA courtyard walls, etc. But you'll notice here that there are actually new items here. There are green grey items, there are blue grey items, wooden barrel, newly grown grape finds. These are all not in game yet in 1.5. They have a uh, countryside tea stand, adventurous treasure, stone cut shape pool, which is a very nice touch to add to the fountains and the cool garden team. It's the one that you see in uh, Monstead now, along, you know what, it's the one that you see in Monstead now along with the, the, with the, where Glory is standing, where Glory is sitting, and where Michelle is, between Glory and Michelle if I'm not wrong, I'll show you guys later. And you see here that there's a lot of uh, purple grid items here to buy from the realm depot, and it should then cost 240 realm currency since it's purple grid. And these are actually set items. These are actually furnishing blueprint set items. And if you look at the bird and blossom park, that's the one that was shown in the 1.6 official live stream, where they were parking Venti and I think Barbara as well to this uh, bird and blossom park as a companion. You have Don Orchard. It's a perfect place to put uh, the load in. And there's a lot of other stuff. Tinsel Cloud Residence, you can put Chi Chi and Wu Tao. I would love to be able to put them in the same place <laughs> for the team of it. If you didn't already know about the interaction between Wu Tao and Chi Chi. Chi Chi, actually, okay. So this is the stone shaped cup that I was talking about. This is how it looks like. I'm pretty sure you have noticed this already in Monster itself. Okay. So these are new items that, this is one of the new items that you can buy from the uh, Realm Depot in 1.6. This is the set item that you see, where in the 1.6 official live stream, they park 
Venti too, and you can see that there's a fountain, there's wood, uh, stone benches, there's stone cup shaped pool that I just showed is here, you have uh, hedges here, trees. So you see here it's quite a long list of items to be built, so it's required. And these are the list of characters that you can park to the particular one, assign them as the companion. So that's a very nice touch. Yeah, let me just off the add. So that's a very nice touch and you definitely should save up for your ROM currency to be able to purchase all these uh, furniture gift sets. Ah, I think they are calling it a furniture gift set instead of uh, the rest. The usual furniture set. So with all these, right, if you can put all these, if you can buy all these on day one and get yourself ready for this, you'll be able to put and assign your companions fully on day one in 1.6 day one of 1.6 and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to prepare myself for that and that's why I wanted to do this video to share with you guys how best to do that you see here some of these items I already mentioned just now this is the view where you can see even the small little thumbnail picture of how they look like and on top of that other than from Realm Depot there are going to be new items from the 1.6 event the Lupi Harvestum you have Feather Light Praise, Bloaty Floaty Stream of the Sky, uh, things like this, Pure Gorgeous Summer, which is very nice by the way. I will definitely have to put a few of these in my realm. Okay, and you've created of Flowers, Witch Chorus, Blue Ocean Treasure, which all of these uh, I think will be out in 1.6 as part of the event. Event Furnishings and your Blueprints. But Realm Depot itself is the list that I showed you. So now, how much should you save, right? How much Realm Currency do you need to save to be able to buy everything? The moment is out in 1.6. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so these are the list of the items available in the Realm Depot once 1.6 is live. The 13 here signifies that there's actually a uh, 13 of the normal finishing blueprints which means if you want to be able to build all of them immediately you will need 13 valves of a tether speed and I'm just talking about one each specific finishing set items here may require more than one of these uh, some of these items but you get a general gist of it that you need about 13 valves of a tether speed or more so that's about 130 realm currency on top of that you have this whole amount of realm currency here that you will need to save up in order to be able to buy everything once 1.6 is out and the total is 5120 today is uh, Wednesday the 1.6 is going to be out in exactly a week next Wednesday if I'm not wrong so you have 7 days 7x720 which is the amount that you get in a day 720 it's about 4.9 about 5k so almost there okay almost there it's about 5040 if i didn't remember wrongly i did not do the math but at a high level i think that's the amount you know what let me just do it here in the excel yep it's 5040 if you start saving now and you don't spend any of your ram currency you'll be able to save up this amount and it's more than enough but if you saw my in-game amount earlier i had like 1200 so I can actually afford to buy more uh, Wells of Data Speed in preparation for this. And yeah, so if you factor in this, you need about 5,250 realm currency. So please, please, please start saving from now on. You're going to be needing all this. Uh, if you want to be able to place your companions as soon as possible on day one of 1.6. Okay. So personally, I will be striving to do that. In fact, I think I might build a few rounds, a few uh, more than one of the uh, Bird and Blossom Park. I like the fountain a lot. I don't think any of this has the windmill. If any of this has this wind, has the windmill, I'll be more than happy. Yeah. So <clears throat> personally, I have not looked into every single set item here. But I'll do a separate video on the companions and all these uh, set items here that uh, we can assign the companions to. And we'll talk about what are the items that you need to prepare 
the good thing is that you can still tear apart your existing set items to be used in some of this. Some of this is indoor, some is outdoor, and uses a lot of all the existing like the study room, the library type of concept that we already have right now. It builds further upon it. For example, for Amit's Poetic Pondering, there's a lot more than what we currently have in terms of like the study room or the library furnishing. It's like a further expansion of it. So yeah, I'll do a separate video on the companions. Okay, but bear in mind that the amount that we need to save now is about 5,250. I definitely encourage you to save up now all the way until next week when 1.6 is out. If you have already spent your realm currency earlier this week on your transient raising, because transient raising takes about two days to save up the amount, 1,200 realm currency, you are actually in a good position. If for some reason you have not bought the transient raising yet, you are, but you are in a situation where you need to save, I honestly think it's fine to skip a week's worth of transient raising to get all these things ready at 1.6. But of course, if you are not interested in getting everything ready in 1.6 at immediately, right? On day one, then you really don't need to save. You can go ahead and just use your transient raising. It's really your realm currency. It's up to you to decide how to use it. But I just want to share this tip about saving up so that on day one, if you want to be able to do everything, this is the amount that you need from the raw tempo and you need about 13 valves of a data speed. Although personally, I probably try to get more in case I need duplicates of this. So that's why I don't want to spend the 1,200 that I have now. I might spend a few hundred of it, small, small hundred, few hundred, like 300, 400. Because I'll still be able to save up and get enough for this since I have not bought my transient raising for this week yet. So lucky me, I I I did spend on the hedges, but it's fine because these those blooming hedges will be used in the Blood and Blossom Park anyway. You need four of it per Blood and Blossom Park. Okay. So I hope this content has been helpful to you guys. If you like the content, remember to like the video and click subscribe for more. Yeah. Okay. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next video, and I'll try to pump up the companion video, uh, well, the next day. All right. Bye.